the late 1990s, when a certain video game was invented, grand theft of the auto kind was a major crime problem. Drug dealing, cop killing, and god-awful gender stereotyping were probably... <laughs> Definitely bigger problems. My name is Cliche. But still, 130,000 cars were stolen in Australia in 1997. Oh, Back then, if you lost your keys and not your car, replacing them was simple. All you had to do was go to a local key cutter and you could get a new set made for about $10. Want to buy some crack with that lady? Not today, thanks. These days, Things are different. Well, something. I'm still here! Unlike sexism in video games, the rate of car theft has dropped massively, with less than a third as many cars stolen than in 1997. Bad luck, asshole. Damn immobiliser! Car keys today are equipped with engine immobilizers, and that's one of the reasons why auto theft rates are less than grand. Whoa. The transponder chip in a key is coded to a particular car. The car's computer won't let the engine start unless the transponder is nearby. But while smart keys are good at locking thieves out, they're also good at locking owners in to expensive key replacements. If you want a new key, instead of being able to go to any shop that cuts keys, now you'll be directed back to your car dealership or service centre and replacing proprietary keys doesn't come cheap. That's $740, lady. Does that include an eight ball of crack? Just the key. <sighs> That's criminal. Replacing keys can take longer now too. For Audi and Volkswagen, the keys have to be ordered from Germany. Plus your car will be off the road while the new keys are being coded. <gasps> And time is money. And if you lose all your keys, the car's computer will have to be reset. And if that happens, the time and the cost can go off the charts. Because smart keys are so high tech, they fail in ways that old keys never did. Like water damage or other physical impacts that muck up the electronics. But remember, they have to be of acceptable quality, fit for purpose and reasonably durable. The manufacturer also has to ensure repair facilities and spare parts are reasonably available. Many drivers have found that their smart keys break or fail too easily. If that happens, the car company should cover the cost of a repair or a replacement. Some insurance covers lost or stolen keys, so it's worth checking before you pay. If you just lost your smart keys, there are other ways of replacing them. You've just got to know where to look. And by that, I don't mean your car manual. They will just send you back to the manufacturer. The most reliable alternative to your dealer is an auto locksmith. There's over 100 of them in Australia and you can search for an auto locksmith in your area at masterlocksmiths.com.au. When 22 car dealerships were price checked by choice, Replacement keys from an auto locksmith were always cheaper. How's this for fair trading? And price isn't the only advantage to using an auto locksmith. Oh. They're also a lot more convenient. At your service. The whole process takes about 45 minutes and most auto locksmiths will come to you. Major failure! If you use an auto locksmith and they don't fix things, that's still covered by consumer law. But car companies in Australia don't always give auto locksmiths the PIN number for the keys. In one American state, that's compulsory. There is still a manual option. Oh, not that one! If your car's got a keyhole, manual keys still work. Choice found that most dealers don't suggest manual key replacements. Starting your car with a manual key can be complicated. Most push-button start cars provide a backup slot that you can slip the key fob into. It might be in the glove box, or worse, under the cup holders. It's generally a backup option for emergencies only, but they are a lot cheaper than smart keys. Being smart about smart keys can save you time and money, and not just when you lose them. There's no legal requirement for buyers to receive more than one working key under the consumer law. So if you're buying a car, check what the deal is with the keys too. That's 700 for the smart key, lady.